All right, so we're at it again. This is my wife, Shay. My name's Tim. And I like to call this the Tim and Shay Chronicles. Basically because I shoot all the video, my wife takes all the pictures, and I just like documenting our lives and having something to look back at later. So today we're off to Renegers. It's actually kind of like an antique mall, but also has a humongous flea market separate from it. Today we're going to focus on the antique mall. My wife likes antiquing, and I enjoy following her around and recording her constantly. To such an extent, it's quite annoying to her. Oh my gosh! Oh, Where'd he go? There he is! That honor does not deserve you. She doesn't love you how I would. Here we go, it's almost here! Panda Express! Why haven't you arrived yet? Nothing wrong with a little panda. And they're right up here. Olive Garden, you really... You know, I want nothing but the best for my wife. Built this place custom for my wife. So my wife had to stop off at the post office. I'd never been there before. Not the post office post office, but this post office. This place was small. Here I am talking about it. It's kind of boring stuff. Just basically said, who cares about the post office when you can have someone else do all the dirty work for you, aka FedEx or UPS pay a whole bunch more, which my wife would immediately detest, is paying a whole bunch more. Okay, that's done. Let's move on. We made it! So basically, this place is called Renegers, and Renegers is known for many different things, for antiques, for flea markets, for all sorts of stuff, and today is their flea market, uh, no, their, their antique day specific, vintage antique specifically. So we will enjoy shopping around and see what we can see. I never did ask Shay about this, but for the next 10 minutes I was wondering, what on earth was the difference between vintage and antique? With the baby that carriage? Me. Batman. Do you remember that one? With the penguin? Oh like, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. that yeah. There you go. You want a almost life-size version of Jesus? <laughs> So it might not look like there's many people here, but actually there were tons of them, and we decided to start outside under the open shelters because it was going to rain a little later. We know how we work. I do the video, she takes all the pictures. Okay, I found something I really liked, admittedly. Um, Star Wars figurine of Darth Maul. Literally, uh, it's a piggy bank, and it moves kind of jinky, but it's kind of cool. So I told her if I don't get anything else today, then absolutely that. Yep, I absolutely didn't end up taking that home. But there's tons of stuff at these places, and we've barely even touched the surface of what this place has in it. So it's uh, it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm ready for a long day. Are you? Me too. It's going to be a good day. Yeah, the colors. Recording. No, I enjoy this stuff too. I'm not the guy who's, alright, football game. There's gotta be a good football game on. Oh, I'm doing a couple <laughs> selfies too. I'll do that. Yeah. She does the selfies more than I do. Yeah, she does. So, honey, are you sure you don't want to uh, Angelina Jolie? <laughs> I was honestly surprised. I was expecting to see a bunch of flea market style booths, but instead, it was almost like a mini village of sheds with antiques filled to the top in each one. It was really cool. Do I? <laughs> oh, wow. Isn't this place cool? This place is cool. <laughs> Some places were a little bit more tolerant about recording than others. That last place had a sign on the window that said, no photos, if you want to see them, go look at my website. Meh, whatever. By the way, here's a motorcycle I really liked. So this was more for me than for you guys, I'm sorry. 
We have a customer in the office looking for an amethyst, a black amethyst flower frog. Do you have that name? Do you have it? Okay, I like the bear. <laughs> Either this announcer wasn't very practiced at using this thing, or someone was interrupting her to make sure she was saying something correct, but it was hilarious. The shops never end, huh? So what's drawing you into this? So my wife has a connoisseur's taste for blue indigo bottles, so she was always on the lookout for that, little medicine bottles, anything like that, and she'd find something of that nature and eyeball it really closely. It was really fun to watch her. But everywhere you looked, everywhere you turned, there was always something new to see. It's just so interesting to see what the past brings to the future, especially this guy. A classic vintage video camera. A professional movie camera. I would have bought this guy in a second. You would have seen it behind all of my videos. This guy is a beautiful collector's piece. I would have bought it in a heartbeat, but $400 was a bit more expensive than my wife and I could afford. But I have been inspired. Collecting old movie cameras would be a lot of fun. Okay, so we had a blast, I personally think, over at this uh, uh, antique place, Renegers, and now we are going to go ahead and get some dinner, or lunch, I guess, at a, at a place, lunch. yeah, who, who knew, with how big we are, that we actually eat lunch. So, um, definitely, Renegers is very cool, if you haven't experienced it, it's cool, worth checking out, lots and lots and lots of vendors, and... I'd say I'd say we're not antique people per se, but there is certainly enough to keep you busy for a while. And uh, we found something really awesome for my dad. And I can't tell you, and I want to tell you because I think personally I'm going to say this: I had a good idea, and then my wife had a better idea, and you put those two ideas together, and you get the best idea. So I'm really excited about Dad's. Christmas present that we worked up for him, so we'll see what he thinks of it. Um, and then we did see some other really, really, really cool stuff. So I got pictures, I've been inspired, and uh, it was a lot of fun. So thank you. And now we'll go get go get ourselves some, some grub at this place that uh, has basically been said to have a little uh, curb appeal, which is right Somewhere over here, whales, tail, whales, I can't even point whales, at it. <laughs> Somewhere over there. So we're going to go and try this out. Supposedly not so great curb appeal, but great food. We'll see. We're not really fish people, but for some reason she's craving uh, fish and chips. Well, I obviously didn't sit in the best place to make videos. If you're a video producer, don't sit facing a window. But the inside of this place was really great. The outside was actually an old plaza, so it didn't feel very welcoming. But when you get inside, family owned, nice environment, had a really great server named Bonnie who took really good care of us, kept the Diet Cokes coming, that's the important part. It made things very nice. I think we'd come back. There's Bonnie in the back there. Hi, Bonnie. <laughs> Are you having fun? <laughs> Are we videoing? Yeah. I always think we're picturing. Picturing? Picturing. I'm picturing you. Photo opportunity. There you go. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. Look at you. Well, that's actually kind of cool with that burst in the background. And that's why photos are better. Okay. No, videos are better. <laughs> that's a cute picture that we can put somewhere, but this is a video that we can come back and watch whenever we want. I love that picture of you. That's awesome. That's kind of cool. You're a real good. smile. It's a real smile. <laughs> I love restaurants like this. You guys know why? Blank sheets of paper and on the need, table. All you need is a pen. All I need is a pen. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> I'm sure if I was really desperate, I could ask for one. That's pretty. That's disgusting. 
<laughs> Most disgusting. You know. Nice things to whisper when hugging someone. What? You smell different when you're awake. <laughs> Think out and smile like nothing happens. If you do have lovely skin, I can't wait to wear it. <laughs> disgusting. Oh. Your hair tastes like a strawberry. Tonight. He knows. <laughs> I always knew you would die in my arms. That's really awkward. Every time I think of you. <laughs> Man, so many no in you. No one will ever believe you. So many innuendos. <laughs> I bet you didn't tell me like your ear. <laughs> she, what? I bet you didn't tell me like your ear. <laughs> So my wife and I have a bit of an unspoken rule. If I'm going to play with my phone, she's allowed to play with hers. So while I was using mine to record this video, she was on Facebook, which usually leads to some pretty funny conversations. That's good sauce. What is that? I have no idea. Well, it's not yours, it's just obviously tart tart. Mm -hmm. No, mine's cocktail. And you say tartar or tartar? Tartar. Tartar. But it's spelled tartar. It's spicy. My goodness, that's good. Mmm. It's hot. Well, that's a lot. Mmm. Yeah. It is delicious. Can we get like two more cups of this wonderful stuff? Sure. <laughs> I need two cups of sauces, please. Oh, that's why. The house sauce. Delicious. Usually a little bit or don't care for it. Good. <laughs> Thank you. It's a winner. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I might have made some. It's going to make it important. I'll get you the sauce. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> So it's running hers about what you expected? Mm -hmm. A little bit less. Mmm. How's that? I think it's important to note here that my wife did not just cuss, but she would have given away our Christmas present for my dad. So, of course he reads lips, so we couldn't just mute her. We also had to do the whole black cover-up sensor thing, which just makes it look far more incriminating. Oh, fine, I'll take it mm -hmm. So let it be said, if you want some really good food at a good price, then I would definitely suggest the whale tail place. Whale's Tail Fish House. Our judgment is it was very good. It was very good. And we just had, sorry, trying to get us in the car. All right, huh, there you go. We just had an uh, interesting experience last night, which I tried to record, but everything was far too dark. That's what you meant as far as it's better than like the food too? Yeah. Yeah, it was. We went out to dinner last night. Uh, because my wonderful wife has set us up with the Magical Dining Deal, and we may have, I don't think we've made any videos on the Magical Dining Deal, but basically you go to a restaurant that's really expensive and they're supposed to give you a discount and give you the same food and everything. So we went to a place that's supposed to be really, really, really good. And it was really, really, really subpar. <laughs> and so that's where I'm saying that today, if you want good food, Place like this. We spent over half less at this restaurant and thought it was way better than what we spent at the other place. Yep. A pop 
Luca Flores Landscape Nursery. Boy, are you far wow. away. Wow, are out of business. Someone's far away from me. Says shrimp scampi, shrimp gumbo, <laughs> shrimp dead thing. That's about that. That's, that's about it. That's all I got to say about that. So I'd say we finished up about two o'clock from lunch, hopped in the car, and started heading home. Not just to head home though, to sit down and play Minecraft for the rest of the night. How cool is that? I married a nerd and I didn't even know it. It's pretty cool. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did. I love spending time with my wife. I love catching these memories on video. And I love making it in such a way that you guys can enjoy it as much as I do. So if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and most importantly, share it with everyone you know. And especially guys, if you wanna ask any questions or leave any comments, you do that right down below. And we'll see you next time right here on the Tim and Shay Chronicles on Tim Michael Arts 2. Take a look at all my other main channels, Tim Michael Arts, and also Ask Tim. All right, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time. And I'll leave you with this one little cute moment with my wife and I.